Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let's get into it. Right before I do that though, let me just make mention very quickly. About an hour and a half ago, I heard that Chilofiatai Ali had been found guilty and the court uh, fined him 20,000 kwacha that he has to pay by the end of today and I'm hearing that if he doesn't meet that condition he might go to jail for or prison for nine months. I'm not a lawyer but this is what I've been hearing. And so about two hours ago, an hour, about an hour and a half ago, I, I went to see him and, and, and true, true enough, when I got there, he was in high spirits. Remember a while ago, I used to make, not make fun, but I used to say, it's not possible to be in prison and be in high spirits. Well, after experiencing that myself, there, there are points where you are in high spirits because, you know, your family's there. As long as your family, you know, your children, your wife, your circle of very close friends, friends and family are, are sort of surrounding you and, and hedging you, then it's possible to be in high spirits. I can only imagine what it's like for people who don't have family, people who don't have loved ones, people who don't have a hedger, people do, who don't have a protector, how they would feel. I would imagine that it's, it would be a very low point. So my point is, when I went to see him, uh, he was in high spirits and him and I we talked for about 30 minutes you know and um, I met I met his wife and, and I was saying to Tayali I said you know one of the reasons I want to see you come out of here is because we love those videos that you do with Kia let me just there we go we love those those videos that we do with uh, that you do with Kia so pretty much that that was it so guys let me um, let me just very quickly chime in as many of you know not too long ago the former and sixth president of this great republic Zambia recently held barely three hours ago held a press conference a joint press conference with other political opposition leaders although I must say I noted and please correct me in the comments if I am completely in left field on this I noticed that Fred Membe was not present was he present or no because I sort of scoured the area I scanned the terrain I scanned the topography <laughs> I didn't see Fred. I'm thinking, what's where the heck is Fred? Could somebody please call Fred and tell Fred there's a meeting and, and he needs to be present? Tell me in the comments, was Fred there or did I miss it? When I say Fred, I'm talking about Fred Membe, the opposition leader of the Socialist Party. Uh, somebody says he was missing. Membe, he was not there. I didn't think so. Who was that that says that? He was Albert. Kasuba says he was not. I didn't think so. I scoured. You know the word scour? I scanned the terrain. I'm thinking, where's Fred? Fred wasn't there. I guess Fred feels he doesn't need an alliance. I think Fred's gotten to a place where he thinks that he can he can steer this ship, S H I P. He can navigate through the rough 
terrain of opposition politics all by himself. Fred seems to think he doesn't need ECL, he doesn't need uh, Sakwiba Sikota, he doesn't need the lady, you know the lady accountant. There's a lady accountant, she's a brilliant mind when it comes to accounts. I don't know what the heck she's thinking when she decided to run for president because I'm thinking what are you what are you doing I mean you're 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 a, you're a brilliant accountant and then all of a sudden we wake up one morning and we hear you want to be president we hardly hear a peep from her but she was there I forget it I always forget her name but there's a lady there that's always there Jackson was there you know Jack you know the bodybuilder you know the light skin fair skin guy with the big with the big arms he's got the big guns he was there sitting next to the lady sitting next to ECL and ECL sort of led the charge okay Sakwiba Sikota made some comments he made a few statements that I totally disagreed with one of which uh, was when he made reference to the Cybersecurity Act you know Sakwiba Sikota seems to think and don't get me wrong I love Sakwiba he's a friend of mine he's my brother I love him but when I heard him say make reference to the Cybersecurity Act and sort of made it sound as if this is Hakainda's cooking. That somehow this is, which to me, I'll be honest with you, I think that the security, the Cyber Security Act is a great piece of legislation. Honestly, really. I mean, but, but for Sakwiba to sort of weave it and make it sound as though this was the machinations or this cyber security act was a product of Hakainde Hichilema is being disingenuous because everybody knows that that piece of legislation was crafted, was constructed by ECL and his posse. Now, let's be clear because I know some of you, you read my, my little thing and you said, posse? I like to posse. What is a posse? A posse is a group of characters that think alike. It's like a gang. A gang of people that have one mission, one goal. It's called a posse. Okay, so in my preamble, I did mention, I said, you know, I want to talk about ECL and his posse. And what that means is ECL and his group, ECL and his gang, ECL and his band of characters that think alike. Because I know some of you say, Yo, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. Guys, it's posse. And it means a group of people that are like minded. Come on, guys. Must I teach you everything? Anyway. Let's get back to the, to, to, to the issue at hand. So anyway, one of the things I picked out, and there were many things that ECL said, uh, ECL being uh, the sixth and former president of the republic, one of the things that I that I heard him say, and I thought to myself, <laughs> this, this is taken straight out of the playbook of late former president Chiluba. Do you know who first coined that phrase? The phrase that ECL made, the statement that ECL uh, made today. ECL is President Edgar Chagualonga, for those of you that are, that are unaware. ECL said, if the people want me, who am I to refuse? Of course, I'm paraphrasing. I'm not saying word for word what he said. I'm not saying verbatim, but the spirit of what he said is the same. Uh, former President Lungu said, if the people want me, who am I to refuse the prodding, the encouragement, the pushing, the compelling of the Zambian people? That is straight out of my late Chiluba's handbook. But Chiluba is the one who first said that. And we all know how that turned out. Okay, let's be clear. Let's, let's not have any misgivings about this. Let me say that again because I think that's abundantly important. But Frederick Chiluba, 
the late president of this republic, the second president of this great republic, who took over after Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, in a bid to attempt to run for a third term, but Shiruba faced the nation with cameras on, no shame, and he said, who am I to refuse the calling, the prodding, the encouragement, the cry of the Zambian people? Because God knows they want me, he said. He said, everything in me wants to step away. I want to step back. I don't want anything to do with politics. But all these Zambian people, they keep whispering in my ear. They keep calling me. Every time I'm walking down the street, they clamor. They come around me. They surround me. They say, FJT, it's only you. Only you can deliver us from these doldrums. Only you can lift us up out of the Myra clay. Only you can and plant our feet on a higher ground. FJT, we the Zambian people are calling upon you to run for a third term because God knows we need you. Oh, if you feel wake up, wake. Self delusion. Do you know what that means? FJT was delusional. I mean, he believed his own bull roar. Literally, he believed his own rhetoric. He woke up one morning and said, you know what, the Zambian, which Zambian people? When you say things like that, when you say things like, no, the Zambian people are calling for me to vie for the president. Which Zambian people are you talking about? It is more accurate. It is more honest to say So that I save him from the problems that he's going through. It's more accurate to say that. But when you paint in broad strokes, when you say the whole nation wants me back the Zambian people in unison rejected that idea Chiruba read the room he, he read the writing on the wall he deciphered the Zambian's code he could tell it in his spirit he saw it he said I'm calling for a third term but the Zambian people don't want a third term I'm trying everything within my power to create and weave machinations and create a narrative that sort of suggests that it is the Zambian people who are calling for my return, even though constitutionally I'm not allowed. At the end of the day, when the dust settled and when the dew dries, dried, Chiruba realized that he was shooting in the dark. That's all he was doing. He was shooting in the dark. And he knew it. That's when he decided to wake up and go to approach Manawasa. Manawasa Lake Manawasa. When he read the room. When he could see that the Zambian people were not on the same page with him. Vachiluba could see that the Zambian people were not going to entertain a third term from the FJT. He got up, went to Vamwanawasa and said, Vamwanawasa, you need to help me out. These Zambians here, they don't want me, but they might want you. So let's work together. Let's, let's circle the wagon. Sorry. Equally, by F, by ECL, you know, this is the reason people say that if you don't learn from your history, you are doomed to repeat it. Because it's the same thing, it's the same rhetoric. Ine, <laughs> 
Balen Kabila, Umwina Zambia from east to west, from north to south. But if I fear in who am I to refuse that call? Well, that's not true. The Zambian people in unison don't want you back. You know why? Because you've served twice. You've been sworn in twice. You've had your hooray. It's time for other people to lead. It's not about you. It's got nothing to do with you. You've served your time and we appreciate you for that. And we love you for it. You know, but then here it is, you insist that you know if you, I mean, you're sitting at a table with your fellow opposition leaders. On one hand, you're saying, let's work together as, a, as, a, as an opposition front, as an opposition force. But on the other hand, you're saying, the Zambian people want me. What if they want Jackson? What if they want Sakuiba Sikota? What if they want that young lady from BDO, the accountant? What if they want her? Why must you think that it's you and you alone. What are you going to do that you didn't do in the seven years that you sat on that seat, Mr. Former President? You want to explain that to me? You do not have an answer for that because you know deep down within the recesses of your spirit, this whole effort to try and return to active politics is based on one thing and one thing alone. You hate the fact that HH is the president and you are not. Especially given the fact that you swore up and down that HH would never become president. And here it is, the tables turned. You woke up one morning and the Zambian people said, Mr. ECL, we love you, we appreciate you. But in the words of Beyonce, step aside, step aside, to the left, to the left. Let's see what this HH Hakainde Hichilema, the same man that you said one day a Tonga will rule or will, will serve as president president in this country but not this particular ten Tonga and yet the Zambian people woke up and said no 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 we want this same one that you don't want that's what this is about and you don't like it well you're just gonna have to grin and bear it <laughs> it's true just grin and bear it that's the way it is. That's the way it is. And it is, it's, it's, it's the way it is because the Zambian people willed it into existence. All right. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.